Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea, and today I'm doing a full face of Becca products. And I'm so excited to be recording this video because I feel like Becca is a brand that is still very much relevant, but not really talked about in terms of mainstream products that were seen throughout you know YouTube, Instagram and things like that. And I feel like brands like Becca still need to get a lot of love and attention so I'm really happy to be bringing this video to you guys. But before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and join the Glam Girl Squad. And if you are a returning subscriber, well, thank you so much for deciding to come back and support my channel with all of your likes and your comments. It really does mean a lot to me. So let's get into this video. Now, let me start this video by saying I really need to thank Becca and Octoly for sending me the majority of these products that I'm gonna show you all today. Um, I just have to tell them thank you because they did not have to <laughs> approve my request for these products so many times, but I'm really thankful for that. And then some of these products I actually um, received from Becca directly from um, them reaching out to me and saying, hey, we love your page and we wanted to send you a couple of things. So I just really want to say thank you so much to Becca and Octoly. Uh, for giving me this opportunity to try all of these products and really come to love a lot of them. There's a couple of products that I'm going to be using for the first time in this video and I'll let you know those products when I get to them. So let's start off with an illuminator. So this is the Becca Ignite Liquid Illuminator. Um, this is one of the products that Becca sent me directly and this is in the shade Creativity. So I'm going to go with the Ignite shade and Creativity and I'm going to use it as a base. These highlighters come in five shades. They retail for $38 and we get 1.5 ounces of product or 45 milliliters of product. And it's going to be a highlighter for face and body. So it has sunflower oil and vitamin E oil to nourish the skin and moisturize the skin. And then it's um, formulated for all types of skin. So when I have used this highlighter before, I really like to just mix it in all over, mainly the high points of my face where light is going to naturally be reflected. This blends in really well into the skin. And I feel like once you put foundation on, it's not overpowering. So it does give you more of that nice lit from within type of look. This is not a highlighter that I would wear on its own. I think this is a little highlighty to wear alone. So kind of like a disco ball wearing it on its own but mixed underneath this uh, foundation looks beautiful this feels really nice on this skin it smells like i said the scent is a little overpowering once you initially put it on but now that i've let it sit just for a little bit like the smell is not as obvious but i did want to let you know just in case you're someone that is sensitive to smells going on to foundation so i have two foundations um this is the becca skin love foundation and this is also the Becca Ultimate 24 Hour Coverage Foundation. I purchased this one myself and this was sent to me from Becca and Octoly. And I kind of don't know which one I want to put on. I'm going to go with the Becca Ultimate 24 Hour Foundation. If you want me to do a review of the Skin Love, let me know and I will do that for you guys. But this one, I really enjoy this one. So this one retails for $44. It comes in over 40 shades. I have the shade Amber in both of the foundations. And I think it's a really good shade match for me. And it is full coverage. But what I like about this foundation is that although it's full coverage, it doesn't feel full coverage on my face. Um, as I'm wearing it throughout the day. It doesn't feel full, it doesn't feel heavy as well. And I really love the overall finish that it leaves on the skin. But yeah, look at that, that is beautiful. And then you can see the radiance from that Becca highlighter. These are the looks that I love. And if you know me, you know I love these types of looks. So I have two concealers from Becca, neither one of which I have tried like throughout the day. I've just like tested them, but I haven't really tried them. I kind of made a mistake. I was supposed to put this concealer on first and then this concealer and I just totally forgot. So here we have the under eye brightening concealer and this is in the shade medium deep. And so this concealer, I wanted to put this under my foundation first and I just forgot. So we're just gonna put it on top of the foundation and you know, make it work that way. And then I have the corresponding concealer to the Ultimate Coverage Foundation. So this is the Ultimate Coverage Concealer. And this is the shade Caramel. Now I do have to say, this does not look like caramel. 
it does not. So this is a little light. I'm gonna make it work today. <laughs> um, but this is a little light. I would typically go for a shade deeper. The under eye brightening concealer is $32 and it comes in two shades. So I have medium deep and that is described as a rich pearlized apricot. And then there's light to medium, which is described as a pearlized peachy pink. So this is going to be a full coverage color corrector that uses light to brighten the look of dark under eye circles. It's a radiant type of finish. It's creamy and it is suitable for all skin types. This also has vitamin E in it to nourish the skin and it has backlight technology that will instantly brighten and illuminate under the eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the under eye concealer. I'm just going to use my finger because it is extremely creamy and we're going to apply it like this. Now I do not have prominent under eye circles but I do feel like you can still see um, the brightening effect. I did try this under my eyes without any makeup on and I was like wow I was really shocked by how bright the one side looked compared to the other side. Um, which makes me do believe that if you had under eye circles and you had dark circles under your eyes, that it would definitely brighten them. So even now, just taking a look at this side compared to this side, this under eye looks more bright, looks a little bit more youthful and awake, which I think is great. Now with this particular color, I wouldn't wear it just under my eyes with no type of base on top of it. Um, because when I did do that, it did look a little too light. You don't need a lot. I didn't apply a lot at all. So I took just a little bit. So I took like this much and then I just tapped it on the back of my hand just so that I didn't have, I didn't put too much under my eyes and then just patted it out with my finger. And I think this looks beautiful. I'm actually kind of glad I put it on top of my foundation because I think it looks really, really nice. And my, I feel like my under eye area looks really nice and bright. This is definitely not a product that I would not set. It definitely is creamy and a little tacky to the touch. So it would be one that I would set and I would recommend setting. Now on to the Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealer. This is going to be $29 and it comes in a total of 16 shades. We get a total of 0.21 ounces of product in this. So this is a water resistant full coverage concealer that camouflages under eye, dark circles, blemishes, and discoloration while smoothing the looks of the skin's texture. This has a lot of good skincare ingredients in it like vitamin E, squalene, and manuka honey to nourish the skin. It's a weightless formula. It's gonna leave a smooth, satin-like finish to the skin. So the shade Caramel is described as a medium beige with peachy undertones, which like I said, I do like me a peachy undertoned um, type of concealer. So I'm gonna apply just a little bit here and here. And then going in with my Morphe E8 brush, we're gonna blend it out. Okay, so actually, I'm not too mad at this particular concealer shade. Like, it's it looks a lot lighter than it does on the face. You guys let me know what you see. I'll see what this looks like when I start to edit it. But just from looking at my face from afar, it doesn't look nearly as light on my face as it does in the tube. I would definitely say that this concealer is full coverage because you really can't see my freckles too much. They almost look completely blurred. I am what this face looks like. I'm not mad. Okay, so next we have the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This powder retails for $39. So this particular powder comes in two shades. I have the original shade, which is their sheer creamy beige color. And then they have a deeper golden bronze color that is described as a soft warm tan. We get a, a total of 0.35 ounces of product or 10 grams of product, which is pretty on par for, I would say, standard powder amounts. And this is described as a weightless setting powder that refreshes and cools the skin with all day moisture. Very interesting. So this is going to be suitable for all skin types and it's gonna be a powder infused with 50% water. And this is gonna refresh and cool the skin on contact. And it is going to set your makeup while cooling the skin 
with a mist-like sensation. The weightless powder provides all-day moisture without caking. Light is diffused across the skin to visibly improve the tone of the skin and diminish the appearance of fine lines and pores all day. So let's try this out. I have not used this powder at all. So this is what the outside packaging looks like. <laughs> my beauty blenders um it is nice and reflective it's got this little message on it that says please keep me closed to keep me cool which i think is interesting so you've got this protective seal that um you want to keep closed and then inside we've got a another type of film that will keep the product from not being messy until you open it which i enjoy there is there we go. So there is a sifter inside so that you can control the amount of powder that comes out. Let's go in with the BK Beauty 108 brush and we're gonna take just a little bit of this powder and we're going to, oh, it does feel, oh my gosh, y'all. This literally feels like a cooling mist on my face. Okay, so perfect example. If you've ever gone to a theme park and you walk under like the walkway where they have that very fine mist coming down especially when it's really hot that's exactly what this feels like under the eye i didn't oh my gosh this is so neat and it also feels it's so weird because it actually feels damp when you put it on to the skin initially but it's not damp this is such a weird feeling but it's like such a good feeling oh my goodness how did they do this so I'm just gonna continue to set my teas with this. This literally feels so weird because it feels wet when you first put it on the skin and it's cooling, but your skin is dry. <laughs> wow, cool. This is actually pretty cool. I like the way that this looks. I think that this powder looks really nice. I am gonna just leave it to my under eye area because I do think it is a little too light for the rest of my face, but I think it does work for my under eye and T-zone area since we typically like that area to look a little brighter than the rest of our face. So now we're gonna go in with bronzer. So I have the Becca Sunlit Bronzer and I have mine in the shade Empanema Sun. This bronzer is beautiful. So the bronzers retail for $38. They come in five shades. And the one that I have is described as a medium auburn brown. I have used this a couple of times and I think this is such a beautiful uh, bronzer. So it does have just a little bit, just the finest amount of shimmer in, or I should say reflex, I'll say that, because shimmer sounds like it's like a shimmery formula, and it's more of a matte formula with just these small amounts of reflex in the bronzer. But on the skin, it just looks a little radiant, and it looks more matte than it does radiant, which I prefer, because I prefer a matte bronzer over a shimmery bronzer. So now I'm gonna go in with one of Becca's new highlighters. This is in the shade Own Your Light, and this retails for $38, and it is described as a warm gold with hints of peach and pink. The perfect combination for any blush or highlighter, in my opinion. So I'm gonna use this shade today as a blush. It is gorgeous. I'm just gonna take that and apply it to the cheeks. I love me a shimmery blush, so I think this type of highlighter shade could work very well as a blush. If you don't like a shimmery blush, then you could just use it as a highlight. Um, because as you can see, I think it could work as both against my complexion. But I just think it's gorgeous on the cheeks. Oh, it's so pretty. Now on to highlighter. Well, a highlighter that I'm actually gonna use as a highlighter. So I have a few from Becca. So here we have Own Your Light, which I just think is stunning. Topaz, which this one is just beautiful and it does work well on my complexion. It's not too deep of a highlighter for me, which I am glad about because it is so pretty. Champagne Pop. I mean, nothing needs to be said about Champagne Pop. So as you can see, Moonstone is a little lighter than Champagne Pop. Champagne Pop is right here and that's Moonstone, um, but it still works against my complexion. I just go in with a light hand. I do have Prosecco Pop, um, not as an individual highlighter, but I have it in a palette. So if you were wanting to know the difference between maybe Champagne Pop, Moonstone and Prosecco Pop, here they are 
there's topaz and there's own your light if you do have the becca and chrissy team in palette and you're wondering if own your light is similar to beach nectar um i will do a quick swatch of that as well so here is own your light and here is beach nectar so in my opinion they're not too similar i think beach nectar is definitely much more vibrant um then own your light is own your light is quite subtle after one swatch then beach nectar so if you do have it and you were kind of like should i get it am i going to kind of duplicate the shade i don't think you would duplicate the shade plus i think the undertone of beach nectar is just different than the undertone of own your light so i think you could still get it um, you can make that choice obviously to see what would fit your needs best i want to go in with Champagne Pop because I thoroughly enjoy Champagne Pop. I think it is one of those, it's, I think it's one of the few highlighters that really is complimentary across many skin tones. And it's just, it's just so pretty. Okay, so I don't have an eyeshadow palette or any other eyeshadows from Becca. So I'm gonna do my eyes and brows and then we'll come back to do the lips and then we'll be done. Okay guys, so eyes are done, now on to lips. So I have this lipstick from Becca in the shade Dusk and I think it is so, so pretty. It did come with a lip liner and this lip liner is in the shade Pouty. So this is their ultimate lip liner, um, lip definer. And I think it's really interesting. So here is your lip pencil up top and then on the bottom, you have pencil sharpener on this end, and then this applicator here that you can use to clean up the edge of your lip liner. So I think it's great. I'll put this on so you can just see what the color looks like on me. This really doesn't show up like a lip liner should on me because it is um, pretty flesh tone. So these lip liners retail for $18 and the shade Pouty is described as a pinky beige and I would agree with that. So I filled in my lips with the shade Pouty and like I said, this isn't the best lip liner for my complexion, but if you are lighter, I think this would be a really pretty nude, pinky nude type of lip liner for you. So this is their ultimate lipstick love. It comes in a total of 40 shades and it retails for $24. And this is the shade Dusk that I have here. I love this beautiful gold packaging. It looks really nice and luxe. I've always heard people rave about Becca lipsticks as being extremely creamy and very uh, good quality. So I was really happy when I received this one. The shade Dusk is described as a warm pink chai. Um, and I think this is a really pretty pinky nude. And I think this is just so pretty. The formula is definitely a little, a little more sheer, but I think it is buildable. So I do still see my lips coming through or peeking through a little bit, but it's not to the point where you really can't see that I'm wearing a lipstick. So I really do enjoy this shade of lipstick as well. Definitely you will want to be trying more lipsticks from Becca. But guys, that is a full face of all of the products that I do own from Becca, you know despite the other products I couldn't put on my face. But I really enjoy how this look came together. The products that I will say stand out because if you are new to Becca or you're just like, I kind of want to pick up some things, but you know, I'm not going to pick up everything. Ultimate Coverage Foundation and not simply because I'm a foundation junkie, but this is a really, really good foundation. Um, and I like that it can be worn full coverage or you can wear it a little bit more lighter in coverage. This under eye concealer i am really shocked by it and really impressed by how it looked and how it brightened my under eye area um i really like this i will be using this more for sure so i would say the under eye brightening concealer i would definitely recommend you check it out if this is something that you're interested in then i'm gonna go with I may mean, have to be the highlighters highlighters and the bronzers I'm gonna say you gotta try them if you haven't tried them. Those are like my top three recommended, well I guess top four because highlighters and bronzers are not the same. Those would be like my top four recommendations. And then like I said, leave a comment down below if you want me to do a review of the Becca Skin Love Foundation. This is currently on sale. I wanna say for like 30% off at Sephora and Ulta, I believe. Um, and I also think on Becca's website, it's on sale. Uh, so let me know if you, wanna, if, um, you want me to do a dedicated video to that. 
and I'll get that to you guys. Let me know your thoughts down below with this full face of Becca. Let me know how you enjoyed the look and how you feel the look turned out. And let me know what your standout products are if you have any that I talked about today or let me know what you would be interested in trying. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.